What's going on guys? I'm the wizard and in this video we're going to be talking about the I almost said modern warfare, the advanced warfare collector's edition options for the upcoming Call of Duty game put out by Sledgehammer Games. Obviously Activision is in charge of the whole shebang and they are the ones that just released this information to us probably two days ago or so at the time I'm recording this. So some of you may have already heard this but if you haven't stay tuned listen to what I gotta say because if you plan on buying Call of Duty Advanced Warfare you're gonna want to know what options you have when it comes time to put down your payment obviously there's the regular version for $60 um, that's been announced for months and months by now but now we have the collector's edition options there are three of them starting with the Atlas limited edition for $79.99 so for 80 bucks you essentially get the hardened edition you get um, the bonus map, you get the uh, in-game digital content pack, including two weapons, the exoskeleton helmet, player card, five supply drops, not exactly sure what those are, and a single player exoskeleton upgrade token, as well as the Atlas Advanced Soldier Manual, the official Call of Duty Advanced Warfare soundtrack, and the collectible steel book case for the game. So, it sounds like your standard hardened edition, nothing too fancy in there. But what's cool about the bonus map, and it's probably why you're watching Pipeline gameplay from Call of Duty 4, is that the bonus map Gorge is a reimagined version of Pipeline from COD 4. So that's pretty exciting. I think hopefully it'll be better. I'm hoping it'll be better than uh, Free Fall. I did like the map, but it was pretty unpopular amongst everyone else compared to like Nuketown 25, which was the bonus map for Black Ops 2 or everyone loved it so hopefully they do a good job with Pipeline it's reimagined all in the future and craziness that is involved with uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare but moving along here the next option you have is the Digital Pro Edition for $99.99 and that $100 purchase will get you everything that was included in the I'm just gonna call it the Hardened Edition the uh, Atlas Limited Edition I guess it's called uh, so you get everything that was included in that, plus the season pass. So if you're not a fan of discs, if you're on your Xbox One, you want to go uh, discless, you don't want to spend the hassle getting a hard copy, this is the option for you. You save actually a good deal of money because it comes with the season pass, which is a $50 purchase separately, plus the game. So really you're saving $10 on the season pass um, in addition to saving $10 on all four DLC. So it's a pretty good deal if you don't want to get the disc, but if you want to get the disc, you're going to have to spend a little bit more because the Atlas Pro Edition, which will be the one I'll be picking up, unboxing, reviewing, all that good stuff for you guys, is $120, $19.99. Uh, you get everything that was included before in the other two versions, except you get it in the hard copy. Um, so it's basically the, uh, the Atlas Pro Edition, or the Atlas Limited Edition, plus the season pass. So if you want to get the season pass, bump up your purchase to 120 and put down for the Atlas Pro Edition. I think it's a pretty good deal if you're big into the um, everything surrounding Call of Duty. I guess if you're a big Call of Duty fan, you're going to want to get this. Now, unlike the other ones, other ones as being the other Prestige Editions or Collector Editions of the past, there's no uh, like special item you get with it. Previously, in Modern Warfare 2, there were the Night Vision Goggles, um, Black Ops had the, uh, the little quad rotor for Black Ops 2. Ghosts had the cool action camera that I've used at PAX East. You can go and find that footage on my channel. But there's nothing really that special with these. I think that's okay. We don't really need a toy necessarily with each Call of Duty game. As cool as it is and as fun as it is to unbox and show you guys in awesome videos, uh, it keeps the price down for the consumer and lets Activision and Sledgehammer focus more on the game itself, which I think is really important at this stage in the Call of Duty life cycle because a lot of fans are leaving it for other games, trying new things like Destiny, Titanfall. They're picking a lot more steam and taking a lot of players from Call of Duty, but I can talk more about those games in a separate video. There you have the news. Three different versions you can get or you can stick with your standard $6 option for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare dropping this November. All of this will be available on all consoles at launch, but DLC will come first to Xbox Live once again. So if you have any more questions about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, I'll be covering it in more videos in the near future as more information rolls out. I'll also be covering the Nemesis DLC pack for Ghosts uh, next weekend, so stay tuned, subscribe for that if you haven't already. Uh, ask me any questions you got down in the comment section below, and until next time, Wizard out.